threefold. NCR salesmen became experts in business systems and methods. And they developed a brand new concept in creative selling. The business world calls it the beginning of modern salesmanship. And I want to tell you, it's as fascinating to me today as it was the first time. The way those machines grow right before your eyes. The skilled hands that put together up to 20,000 parts in a single machine. Many of them not only more intricate, but more precise than the works of the finest watch. They have to be. They have to work longer and harder. They can't ever be almost right. They have to be exactly right, each time, every time, all the time. Everything we do ends up in figures. Figures on wheels. Big wheels, little wheels, round wheels, and decagonal. Figures on tabs and indicators, round, square, flat, and rectangular. Figures stamped on, rolled on, and painted on through silk. Figures black on white and white on black. Figures that are every color of the rainbow. Figures that pop up, spin around, and march up and down and sideways to infinity. I don't say we invented figures, but we put more of them to work than anybody I know. I knew in the early 1900s, Colonel Deeds had brought in a young electrical engineer, Charles F. Kettering. He also invented the self-starter for automobiles. His job at our place was to design a motor strong enough to operate a cash register, small enough to fit inside of it. Since then, the register had been expanded, developed, and refined until it seemed to me, even 25 years ago, that it could do about everything for a merchant except maybe deliver his packages. had this hunch that a company smart enough to make a machine like this, the like of which had never been seen before, and now it was in daily use all over the world, would be smart enough to come up with something else. And they were, as I soon found out. Oh yes, and I also needn't have worried about getting to use my chemistry training. I was amazed at all the different kinds of specialists it took to run this business. Technicians in fields I never dreamed would have anything to do with cash registers. Authorities on things as different as synthetic rubber and metallurgy, printing ink and plastics, eye health and store traffic. Anyway, I was running some polarized light tests one day, not long after I started here, when the department head walks in. How are you coming, Henry? Almost done. Good. They've just thrown some new specs at us. An accounting machine with a typewriter built into it. A typewriter? Yes, for descriptive billing. It'll open a new field for us. Man, oh day. It'll double our market at least. You know something? Someday we may be doing as much business in accounting machines as we now do in cash registers. You know something? You might be right. Looking back at myself 25 years ago, I think that's pretty good prophesying. We went on to the utility billing machine, the bank posting machine, the payroll machine, all from one little idea. But was it a dandy? With all our many specialists, for years they've been trying to find a better drive. The old tube within a tube system then in use had many limitations. Here's how one pair of those 100,000 eyes and ears were on the lookout for the good of the company. One Saturday afternoon, Walter Kreider, a model maker in the model shop at the plant, was mowing his lawn when his mower hit a stick or something. He stooped to clear the blades and his eyes lighted on something. It was as though he were seeing a lawn mower for the first time. Sometime later, his wife found him in his cellar workshop. Oh, there you are. 
Didn't you hear me? I've been calling you for supper. Mama, I've got it. You have, dear? Got what? I found the lawnmower with the grass half cut. That's where I got the idea, see? A wheel within a wheel. That'll do it. What are you talking about? See the square hole on the inside wheel? That's the drive wheel. We can run a square rod through that. And when we turn the square rod, it turns the inside wheel. That turns the outside wheel. But when we turn the square rod in the round hole, nothing happens. See, Mama? No. Come to supper. All they have to do is stand up the rod and slip the wheels down over it. And that is how today, in the patented process, the drive shafts are built up with their wheels in any desired combination or series to compute and tabulate and verify as many as 10, 20, even 30 and more columns of figures at a time. such as in the payroll machine. Utility billing and all the others. All made possible by the little wheel. I call it the magic wheel. Yes, your thoughts sure crowd in on you at a time like this. Like when I was a boy, I used to hear when a person drowned, his whole life flashed before him in those few seconds. For years, I was almost afraid to swim. I needn't have worried any more than I needed to worry about coming with the company 25 years ago. And think what it will be in the next 25 years. Over in engineering right now, they are working on machines, some of them electronic, the world may not see for another five or ten years yet. Hmm. That new finish can take it. Yes, sir. Everything they do here today, tomorrow they do better to take a business that's already the leader and make it even better. I wish now I'd told Mr. Allen that when he gave me the pin. Look at the spirit around here. You feel it anywhere you go in the plant. That NCR family spirit is no bunk. At least they work together like they mean it and they play together like they mean it, whether it's noon hour coits with rubber tires and pegs they stick in the floor between the assembly lines or dartball or ping pong checkers or chess or noontime movies or after hours or on weekends and holidays when we get together at old river the park created by the company for the employees a stone's throw from the plant by golly ncr isn't only a good place to work it's it's a way of life for that matter, life for all of us is richer today than it was even 25 years ago. We are living longer, but better yet, our years are fuller. We have more things to do, but strangely enough, we have more time to do them. That is because the whole tempo of our existence has been speeded up. We have more time to enjoy pleasant places, 